And the latest version of the farm bill is making its way through Congress right now. And some Henry County farmers are chiming in. Maddie Franz shows us what they told one lawmaker today and why they say the bill is about more than just politics. When we set farm policy, which we will for the next five years, it's important we get it right. It's one of the most important pieces of legislation for farmers across the country. There's parts in there for, for grain farmers, there's parts in there for livestock operations, there's conservation stuff, there's, there's trade issues, so it's a, a wide array of everything. Especially in Henry County, where people rely on the $1.5 trillion farm bill to continue their work. Agriculture is the number one industry in the state of Illinois, and right here in Henry County we have some of the most fertile farmland in the entire world. Representative Darren LaHood spoke to Henry County farmers about the proposed version of the farm bill. It was voted out of the House Agriculture Committee last week. We had four Democrats supported in the House Agriculture Committee. We're going to need more of that on the House floor. I believe it's a good bill as written right now. Um, I think it's going to be impossible to get a great bill. For farmers like Steve Nightingale, the policies in the bill will help protect their livelihoods. My main concerns with the farm bill is, is first and foremost for this area. It would be crop insurance. In the Midwest, Steve says crop insurance is more important than ever. There seems to be in the last how many years there has been more extreme weather, uh, things out of our control. Along with expanding access to that insurance, the proposed bill would increase payouts if the price of a crop falls too low. So the, the extreme happens, this is what helps us. We pay into crop insurance, we have part of the pie, um, and this basically is the safety net for farmers. If the bill passes, farmers will be protected for the next five years. In Oslo, Maddie Franz, WQAD News 8. Now the bill is still a long way from becoming law. It must now be passed by the full House, then merged with a Senate version, which is still not complete. Lawmakers have until the end of September to pass it.